Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Geeks for Geeks channel and today we are going to move a step forward in our competitive programming journey by solving this question. So uh, the question is about finding the middle element in the linked list. So this question has been asked in Amazon, Flipkart, VMware, Microsoft, Adobe and Hike and all of these big companies. Okay, so what this question says. So we are given a singly linked list of n nodes and the task is to find the middle of the linked list. For example, if you are given this linked list, then the middle element should be three, or we can say index number two. And if there are even number of nodes, then there will be two middle nodes for the linked list. So for example, let's take this linked list. So here, the middle element would be three and four. Then the output should be the second middle element that is four, okay? Now, let's move forward to the input type of this question. So in this question, we are given the first line of the input contains the number of test cases T. And for each test case, the first line of the input contains the length of the linked list and the next line contains data of linked list, data of the nodes of the linked list. And the output for each test case, there will be a single line output that contains the data of the middle element of the linked list. And what is our task? Our task is not to comp uh, not to complete the input and output format we just have to complete this function and all of this uh, reference and all of these things input and output is already taken care for us and we are given a head reference to the linked list and what are the constraints so the test case is t will be between 1 and 100 both inclusive and also the notes will be given notes which will be given up between 1 and 100 also so now Let's move forward to the sample input. So as we saw, the first line of the input contain the number of test cases. So here, the number of test cases are two. And what are this? First is this and second is this. Okay, now let's move forward for the first test case. So the first line in the test case contains the number of uh, nodes in the linked list. So the, there are five nodes and this is the nodes of the linked list. So here is a picture a representation of this linked list. Okay, so let's see what is the middle of this element. So there are five elements. So the three, this will be the middle element. Or we can say the index two will be the middle element. As we can see in the output, it is correct. And for the second, there are six nodes. Here it is, the picture representation of this linked list. And since there are six elements, which is even in number, so there will be two middle elements, that is six and seven. And according to our uh, output statement, uh, if the linked list contains even number of nodes, then the second middle should be the output. So according to this, the output in this should be seven, as we can see. Now, let's talk about the steps we need to take to solve this problem. In this problem, we are going to use two pointer technique. What is two pointer technique? In this two pointer technique, we take two pointers, that is fast and slow. And we start both the pointers from the head, from the head of the linked list, that is one in this case and two in this case, okay? And then the fast pointer moves double the speed of the slow pointer for each time it reaches the end until it reaches the end. Okay. As soon as the fast pointer reaches the end, our slow pointer will be on the mid uh, middle element. So let's move forward to the coding part of this question. So I'll be coding in Java, but don't worry. We'll be give, uh, I will be giving you the code for the C++, Python and C sharp also. Okay. So let's move for forward for the coding part. So as we can see, the first step is to take two pointers that is fast and slow. So we'll be creating two pointers here. Okay, so the first step is complete and we have created two pointers fast and so slow and both are initialized with the head node. Now let's move forward to the second step. We have also uh, completed the second step also. Now move forward to the third step. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what we are doing here is we are just using a while loop and what we are checking is that whether the fast node is equals to null or the next to the fast node is equals to null or not. If uh, it is equals to null, then we are not uh, entering into the loop or else we are just putting slow equals to slow dot, slow dot next, moving it one step forward and fast equals to fast dot next dot next, that is moving it two steps forward in the linked list. And when the loop sends, we are the slow will be on the middle of the linked list 
and so we are returning in returning the data of the slow that is slow dot data okay so now let's see how this is working with our code okay so here is the link list the two sample inputs that we have given over here these are link list over here so i have just added a null uh, node in both of the list okay so now let's uh, move to the code and see how it works so in the initial stage both the fast and slow are on the head element so that is fast is over here and slow is also here and then uh, the loop checks whether the fast is equal to null no it is not equal to null and whether the fast dot next is equal to null so the next element to the fast is two so they are both not equal to null so the slow moves one step the fast moves two step and the fast is on here three and two is on uh, slow is on two and same again uh, since three is not null and also four is not null it will move two steps forward and the fast will be over five and the slow will be on three and now if we check for the loop the fast is equal to null no it is not equal to null it is equal to five right now but the next element to the five is null yes the next element to the five is null so the fast so we will not enter into the loop and we will just return the slow data that is three and this is how three is get returned now let's move uh, now let's see for the even size link list okay so here i have also included a null block over here okay now so initially the fast and head uh, fast and slow will be both equal to head so fast is over here and head is also here then we will check whether the fast is null no it is not null the next element is it is also not null so fast will move two steps and the slow is will move one step again we will check six is null no it is not null seven is null no it is not null again the fast will move two step forward that is over here in the five and the slow will move one step that is on six okay now again we will check five is null no it is not null when is null? no it is not null so it will step move two step forward that is it will go to the null pointer and then our mid our slow will be on seven now if we check whether the fast is null yes it is null so it will not move into the not go forward into the while loop and we will uh, only return the slow dot data that is seven over here so th this is how this code works now let's try to run it okay so as we ex expected the output is three and seven that is correct and this is how your question is solved now let's talk about the c plus plus code simply here we are also constructing a node slow and fast and both are getting the head value at the initial stage and then we are checking if head is null then we are returning minus one while and we are also doing a while loop check over here as we do in the java code whether the fast is equal to null or whether the next to the fast is equal to null and then we are doing the same thing as we are doing in the java code we are just assigning fast the next to the next element and moving slow with one pointer one node ahead only okay and we are just returning slow dot data now let's move forward to the python 3 code again we are checking here whether the head node is null or not if it's null then we are just returning none to the function and we are just creating two variables slow and fast and assigning them the head node and we are again checking whether the fast is not uh, null or the next to fast element is null or not and we are just moving slow to the one pointer one node and fast to the two pointer and just returning the slow value over here and now this is the c sharp code as you can see we are just doing the same thing over and over again in different languages and this is our java code which we have written over there and with that i hope you like this video if you like this video give us a like down below and also comment how was the video and if you have any queries just comment them down below i will be there and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet share with share it with all of your friends and thank you